Penitent one, returned from the tomb, and walking among the mourners, your awakening is now written on the eternal pages. Anunthiada is my name, and I hail from the heavenly mountains on high, the seat and the beginning of all that is holy, so that I may address you. Look upon me thus as a preceptor in this enterprise, Hailing from the highest of all seats. Penitent one, the miracle shall give birth to a new child in a great heart descended from the clouds that watches over the ancient city of the blessed name from on high. You must reach it to stop its birth. But on this ascending path of penitence, the arch confraternity awaits you. Those penitents that the miracle itself took as its sentinels now await your arrival. Orospina, the confraternity of embroiderers. Benedicta, of the confraternity of endless orison. Odon, of the confraternity of salt. Lesmes, of the confraternity of incorruptible flesh. All under the dictate of the oldest penitent, the first among them all, who was Eviterno, father of the penitents. Penitent One, the miracle has instilled three regrets in the consciences of three of its guardians. Only by revealing them shall you achieve the humiliation of the sculpted figures that hold up the city allowing you to ascend to its upper reaches, and finally to the Great Heart. Look for the Guardians.
Welcome to my most humble of workshops, which is a flurry of sawdust, glue, and varnish. Montagnes is my name. Master sculptor, one of those who, with steady hand and silver chisel, patiently carve out from the wood the faithful shapes of our true saints, so that they might be contemplated and revered by the devout. No trace of light remains in my glassy eyes, yet still I know what thou seekest and needest. For are we not all penitents on this earth? In some way, the miracle proclaimed that, as my profession was that of a master sculptor, I should carve in wood the figure of the Most Blessed Lady as my last work of art. Penitent one, I beg you help me in this, my final piece of work. Seek out for me the finest chisels and tools, the most wondrous of pigments, and the most delicate of varnishes. And I can sculpt for thee figures that will fit into the altarpiece you carry on your back. Like this very one I offer to thee here. Please accept this as a gesture of my unending gratitude. It is but the first piece of many more I shall carve for you. Now I shall place it upon the altarpiece upon your back, and you will feel its grace, but also its burden. The hands of the miracle will guide me in the carving in accordance with the memory you bring me. May they guide thee as they guide me, penitent one. The altarpiece on your back now has more capacity. Here, I will wait for you until you gather more marks of martyrdom to extend your altarpiece. May the hands of the miracle guide thee, penitent one. This heavy curtain that separates sin and confession, crime and judgment, conceals naught but shadows. Here, in my darkness, there remaineth but tears for me, and forgiveness for those of you who seeketh it. Where are the bereaved now? Where are the repentant? How long since the long agony of this sacrament began? Now that your penance of silence and the pain that plagues your flesh has led you to my dark confession, let me purge the guilt you bear and thus alleviate your burden. Penitent one, return when the guilt scorches your brow. I will free you from your burden, for that is my purpose.